things are gone then. It's the rock of our salvation, of your heart and soul. So sing, for you are the truth. For he has shown as his way, Father, as to his faith, to part of his way. Let us sing to every nation, praise our God. Our God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our soul and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. After the death of Jehoiada, the princess of Judah came and paid homage to King Joash, and the king then listened to them. They forsook the temple of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and began to serve the sacred poles and the idols. And because of this crime of theirs, wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. Although prophets were sent to them to convert them to the Lord, the people would not listen to their warnings. Then the Spirit of God possessed Zechariah, son of Jehoiada the priest. He took his stand above the people and said to them, God says, Why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, He has abandoned you. But they conspired against Him, and at the king's order, they stoned him to death in the court of the Lord's temple. Thus, King Joash was unmindful of the devotion shown him by Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, and slew his son. And as Zechariah was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the turn of the year, a force of Arameans came up against Joash. They invaded Judah and Jerusalem. 
did away with all the princes of the people and sent all their spoil to the king of Damascus. Though the Aramean force came with few men, the Lord surrendered a very large force into their power because Judah had abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers. So punishment was meted out to Joash. After the Arameans had departed from him, leaving him in grievous suffering, his servants conspired against him because of the murder of the son of Jehoiada, the priest. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the tombs of the kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. I will make his posterity endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. If his sons forsake my law and walk not according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes and keep not my commands, Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I will punish their crime with a rod and their guilt with stripes. Yet my mercy I will not take from him, nor will I belie my faithfulness. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. 
are not you more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon, in all his splendor, was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Welcome to the Minor Basilica and National Shrine of Jesus Nazareno, and good morning po sa inyong lahat. Our responsorial psalm says, Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. At pag sinabi natin forever, magpakailanman. Sa ating mga tao, di ba minsan hindi tayo naniniwala sa forever. Pero madalas naniniwala tayo sa second chance. Ibig sabihin, may mga pagkakataon na yung forever natin napuputol pagkatapos natutuloy. Pero pag sinabing forever ng ating Panginoon, pag sinabi ng Diyos na forever, ang ibig niyang sabihin, Tuloy, tuloy, tuloy. At hindi na puputol. Hindi na pipigtal. At kahit kailan, hindi titigil. At sa ating responsorial psalm, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. But the question here is, Are we truly His servant? May mga pagkakataon kasi na parang pakiramdam natin na wawala ang pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon. May mga pagkakataon na parang inaabando na tayo ng Panginoon. May mga pagkakataon na parang masasabi natin, parang hindi naman totoo yung sinasabi ng Salmo. Na forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Unang-una, hindi naman talaga nawawala ang pagmamahal ang gabay ng Diyos. Parang nawawala ito minsan dahil minsan tayo, tayo din ang may kasalanan kung bakit parang nawawala ang pagmamahal at presensya ng Diyos. At yun yung matututuhan natin sa first reading. That again, ang bayan ng Israel, ang bayan ng Diyos, ay muling sumaway sa kanilang Diyos. Muli silang sumaway sa utos ng Panginoon. Nagkaroon ng ibang Diyos-Diyosan at mismong hari, at mismo yung hari nila na si Joash, ay sumaway tumalikod sa Panginoon. At ano yung naging bunga nun? Nawala ang biyaya ng Diyos. Nawala ang gabay ng Diyos. At naranasan nila noong sinugod sila ng mga kaaway. Pero hindi sila iniwan ng Diyos. Ang nangyari, sila ang nangiwan sa Diyos. At minsan hindi naman ito nalalayo sa ating mga experience. Minsan hindi naman ito nalalayo sa ating karanasan. Sometimes, we feel that the presence of God is not there. Minsan parang wala ang Diyos. Minsan parang inaabando na tayo ng Diyos. But if we look deeply on our human experience, minsan kasi baliktad eh. 
tayo pala yung nag-aabando na sa Diyos. Hindi tayo mga tayo mga Kristiyano, tayo mga Katoliko, we don't believe in karma. Kaya yung mga Kristiyano nagsasabi na may karma ay hindi po totoo yun. Karma is a Hindu belief. But bilang Kristiyano, we believe that our actions has repercussions. Ibig sabihin, bumabalik din talaga may mga consequence yung ating mga aksyon. Pero minsan, ang pagkakamali natin, min- imbis na isisi natin sa sarili natin, nasisisi natin ang Diyos. For example, sa mga taong merong sakit na, na diabetes, o di kaya high blood, kain pa rin ang kain ng matamis, kain pa rin ang kain ng lichon, kain pa rin ang kain ng bawal. At pagka inatake ng sakit, minsan anong gagawin? Magtatanong sa Diyos kung bakit. Sisisihin ng Diyos kung bakit. When in fact, ang totoo, contributory naman tayo sa nangyayari sa atin. Mga kapatid, our reading for today invites us to examine ourselves. Tingnan natin yung ating sarili. Pinababaya, pinababayaan ba tayo ng Diyos? O baka naman pinababayaan natin ang ating sarili? Pero kahit pabayaan ta- natin ang ating sarili, hindi hindi tayo pababayaan ng Diyos. Kahit iabandona natin ang ating sarili, kahit iabandona tayo ng ating mga mahal sa buhay, hindi hindi tayo iaabandona ng ating Panginoon. And that's the assurance that we are receiving in the Gospel. Malinaw na malinaw yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Do not worry about your life. Do not worry about what you will eat, what you will drink, or what you will wear. At kasunod nito, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon sa ating Ibanghelyo, mas higit pa tayo sa mga damo, mas higit pa tayo sa mga ibon, mas higit tayo sa mga bulaklak. Bakit? Dahil sa lahat ng nilikha ng Diyos, tayo lang ang nilikha na Kanyang kawangis. Tayo lang ang nilikha na katulad ng Diyos. And therefore, dahil kawangis tayo ng Diyos, tayo ay merong dignidad. And that is something no one can take away from us. And believe, be convinced. Ngayon, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, Don't worry, hindi kita pababayaan. Don't worry, akong bahala sa'yo. Don't worry, I will take care of you. But, Kasunod ng pag-aalaga sa atin ng Diyos, we also have to do our part. Alagaan din natin ang ating sarili. Mga kapatid, our readings for today reminds us that God takes care of us. Hindi niya tayo pinababayaan. And our gospel for today reminds us of that fact. Don't worry about what you will eat or you will drink. But while we are being assured While we are being assured of God's promise to us, we have to do our part. Habang inaalagaan tayo, habang ginagabayan tayo ng ating Panginoon, alagaan din natin ang ating sarili. Alagaan din natin ang ating sarili. Because God do not abandon us, let us also not abandon ourselves. God takes care of us, let us also take care of ourselves. Amen. Please all stand. The gospel calls us to be single-minded in our service of God. May our prayers to the Father express that quality of trust and devotion. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders may devote themselves tirelessly to the furthering of God's kingdom. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may realize the need to show care and concern for the poor and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may live in complete submission to the will of God and never become anxious concerning matters that are not worth worrying about. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may experience the love of God through the compassion of those who care for life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's victory over death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we trust in you. May we never set our hearts on material things, but on your loving providence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. offer this bread and as we bring you this one bless them Lord Jesus feed us now give us life send as your spirit the source of our lives Together we will serve you with love. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise You as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your peace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we sing Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this us day, day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, we as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us, us and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mm -hmm. 
To all who, who will receive the Holy Communion, please say Amen. Will the priest or lay minister saying Body of Christ and reverently consumes the Body of Christ before living before leaving at the font of the priest or lay minister, please be guided accordingly.
we have some announcements. June 24, lunes, dakilang kapistahan ng pagsilang ni San Juan Bautista. Ang oras ng ating mga misa sa araw na iyon ay katulad ng linggo. Ang ating fiesta mass ay sa ganap na ik ng alas 12.15 ng tanghali na pamumunuan ng kanyang kabunian, Jose Cardinal Advincula, Arsubispo ng Maynila. Ipinagbibigay alam po sa lahat, lalo na sa mga ministry at organization, HDN, mga samahan o grupo ng ating simbahan, na ang ating karakol ay gaganapin sa ikatlo ng hapon na iikot sa paligid ng simbahan. At ang maringal na prosesyon ay sa ganap na ikaapat ng hapon. Ang lahat po ay inaanyayahan sa mga gawain ito ng ating kapistahan. Mabibili pa rin po ang ating opisyal na imahen ni Jesus Nazareno. Ang mga ito po ay mabibili lamang sa ating parish finance office. Ang malilikom po na pondo ay gagamitin sa pagsasaayos ng ating adoration chapel at baptistry. Pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikiusapan ng lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Menor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Tumayo na po ang lahat. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the, for the blessing. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in need most of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions. Bless also these religious articles that we may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven, our true home and reward where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Mr. Padre Jesus, Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin. Tinipintuho ka namin. Para mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus, Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang puso mong kinamatayan ay Sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre 
Jesus Nazareno, minuwal hati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, dinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, minuwal hati ka namin.